Hello and welcome to another Vegas tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a spotlight effect. Uh, probably not the spotlight effect you might be thinking of. Um, I don't really know how to put this uh, effect into words. Basically, we're going to be creating an effect where you're making a video and then you want to show your viewers one specific part of the video without the rest of the video distracting them. So, uh, it's going to be messed up. You're probably not going to understand it until the final product is uh, made, but I'll try and uh, make it easier for you to understand. So basically, here's an example I have here. Uh, a white rectangle is uh, slapped inside of a green background, and let's say in one of my tutorials I randomly throw in a green background with a white rectangle, and I want you guys to focus on the white rectangle, so my idea is to fade everything to black except for that white square because that white square is the only thing you should be looking at everything else is complete garbage so um, like I'm gonna show you how to fade out everything except the portion of the video of your choice so I don't know you can call this a spotlight effect you can call it a fade to black but one part is not faded to black effect but I don't know so Anyways, uh, we got a clip here of the white rectangle on the green background. We're going to duplicate this track by right-clicking on the video track itself and hitting Duplicate Track. And we're going to focus on the top track here. Let's go to our Pan and Crop tool. And I'm going to make sure that mask is checked. Uh, if you're on Vegas, uh, no. If you're on Vegas Movie Studio or Vegas Platinum, you do not have this feature. Feature. Bad grammar. Bad spelling. Bad pronunciation bad brain. I have a bad brain today. So, make sure mask is checked. Make sure that you're on your anchor creation tool and just draw a simple rectangle around our rectangle. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I'd rather it be perfect, but since we're creating a tutorial, it doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, I changed my mind. It should be pretty good. Let's try this. Okay, that's a lot better. So, we drew a rectangle around our original rectangle. Now what we're going to do is make this mode under path. Make sure that mode is at negative. And make sure that the feather type is at both. And the percentage of the feather can be at like 4.8. It doesn't have to be really high. And now what we can do is go to our video effects tab, brightness and contrast, and drag reset to none onto the top track. And let's position a key from at the 3 second mark and decrease our brightness all the way, I guess. It doesn't have to go all the way, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of example. And if we play it back, this is what we have. So, that's basically it. That's uh, uh, I hope you understand what I was trying to tell you before, though. So, in some of my tutorials, maybe I could be like, okay, here would be like a perfect example. So, if we go over here, we can now change the preview setting to preview auto. Ooh. So, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, but you can use this effect for a lot of things, so I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.